Okay, so you kind of like ray tracing and you kind of don't like it, and you know that it can be it can give you drastically wrong answers, especially for stuff that's way away from the optical instrument. I've got myself a convex and converging lens right here, and I want to uh, I want to set up an equation ultimately that we can get from some similar triangles, just like we did for mirrors. So before we begin, let me point out that I know this is the object. So here's the height of the object, and I can call this sucker right here the distance of the object. And the distance of the image is probably going to be over here. Now the cool thing is, I know there are some symmetries to this problem, so I've already drawn where the image is going to be because of, uh, well, I mean, kind of twice the focal length kind of beautiful thing here. So I'm going to start by giving you an M ray, which is, as I've said before, my favorite ray. So we'll go like this, ready, go straight through the center and hits the top of that image that I already have obtained for you. There's your M ray. I want you to just notice that this angle, let me get you a triangle here. We can make a triangle out of the M ray and the axis. And here's another triangle on this side. Uh huh. And so uh, I want you to notice that this angle, what do you want to call that? You want to call that uh, phi? Sure. Is the same as this angle right here. And that's, uh, oh man, what is this distance right here? This is the height of the image. And it's negative because it's downward. So we have to be careful with that. We're going to put, if we want to work with uh, absolute values, we could just put a minus sign in front of hi. So that's what I'll do. My, uh, my conclusion, therefore, is that the tangent of this angle is the tangent of that angle. And the tangent of this angle is the opposite side's length divided by the adjacent side's length. So I'm arguing that H O, that's the height of the image, divided by the distance of the image from the mirror is, did I say image? I meant object. These are all object, of course. And then uh, that's also going to be the tangent of this angle over here. Regardless of the symmetry of this problem, even if I had uh, the object way in here, the image would be, I guess, way out there. We'd have all kinds of interesting things happening, but I'm always going to have similar triangles here. So the ratio would be negative HI over DI, because I'm going to have to take opposite over adjacent. Sure, negative HI over DI. And so that ratio holds true for us. And the, the next thing that we can do is we can get a P ray up in here, and we'll get another set of similar triangles. And I try not to make it too cluttered. Let's see if we can do that. Is that about parallel? P ray comes in parallel. P's a, P ray is all like, boom, hits the axis, uh, the line of action of that sucker, and goes out through the focus. And I'm hoping that this will line up. Look, it does. Isn't that pretty? And it goes like that, right there. So here's my P ray, and I see another set of triangles. Here's a triangle, and it is, again, a right triangle. And I define the angle here to be theta. And here's the second triangle. And I can define this angle here also to be theta. Whoa! Sorry, I forgot to shoot those rays. Excellent. Then, we've got this triangle over here, but these distances are a little bit different. Like, this distance right here, I gotta acknowledge that this distance is di minus the focal length, and this distance right here is simply the focal length. Okay, and then uh, let's set up the other ratio that we get where the tangent of this angle is the tangent of that angle. So that says this is, oh shoot, what is this distance right here? Look at this. What is this distance right here? It's the height of the object again. So I'm going to say opposite over adjacent, the height of the object divided by the focal length, that's for this triangle right here, is opposite over adjacent for this guy right here. So that's negative HI divided by DI minus F. And just as we did before, we're going to say that this equation and this equation are portable equations, and we can take it to another sheet of paper and do some algebra. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Ready? There's one equation, and here's another equation. This second equation, the one that I'm pulling over second, is going to be really useful for us. 
Okay, so time to do a little bit of algebra. First, we notice, I mean, my first step, mm, no, let's go purple with the first step. My first step says I can rearrange this equation and get it so it says h object over negative h image is focal length divided by di minus the focal length. And we can also take this equation and do a similar bit of algebra at it. We can say h object divided by negative h image. See, I'm gonna move this down there and put that back up there. You can do this, whatever you want. Division and multiplication, ain't no thing. And then I'm gonna say this is equal to, wait a second, that's gonna be the distance of the object divided by the distance of the image. So this is really useful. We're gonna keep this equation and look at it again in just a moment. But let me point out that both of these have the same left side which is lovely, and then I will equate them so we can go to some seafoam green for that and say that the distance of the object divided by the distance of the image is the focal length divided by the distance of the image minus the focal length. And I'm going to try to get one over on this side again. So I will multiply by the following thing. I'm gonna multiply by one over d object divided by one over d image. And I have to do that to both sides to keep algebra free and equal and equivalent and awesome. di and all sorts of things will cancel out. Let's go, oh, should we go red? Yeah, we'll do the new one in red. So this left side is one over one, which is one, boom. And the right side is f over d object divided by, well, let's see, one over d image times d image is gonna be one minus f over d image. The image, yeah, the image. Then I'm going to multiply the both sides by this thing right here. So I say one minus f over d image and one minus f over d image. On the left side I get one minus f over d image. You heard me the first time, right? And on this side I get cancellation. And so I get f over d object. Lovely. Then we'll go blue and we will divide all of the terms by f. So I'll multiply by one over f and multiply by one over f on the right side and I get one over d object and one over the focal length minus one over d image. A slight bit of rearranging lends us to the most beautiful equation of all, watch this, one over d image plus one over d object is one over d focal length. We, <laughs> did I say d focal length? Whoopsie. We have just proven that A, math is really cool, B, mirrors are incredibly similar to lenses, and this might feel like a little bit of a coincidence, but it's actually fundamental and awesome. And, <clears throat> ooh, try using a lens as a mirror during a lab. You'll impress your teacher. And C, math can be really useful to predict physical situations, which is pretty awesome. So this equation is your solution to ray tracing as long as you get the sign conventions correct. I'm going to define one more thing before we go on. I want to define something called magnification. And of course magnification is simply telling us how much bigger something has gotten. That was about the worst writing of magnification I've ever seen. So I'm going to say that the height of the image is magnification times the height of the object, or magnification is defined to be the height of the image divided by the height of the object. So if we've got something that's inverted, like this guy right here, our object was upright and our image was inverted, then the magnification will be negative, but I don't want that to stress you out at all. So magnification is the height of the image divided by the height of the object. But look at this. We can make this other cool uh, conclusion. Look at this. If magnification is the height of the image over the height of the object, we can just rearrange this guy and say, well, the height of the image over the height of the object is negative the distance of the image over the distance of the object. So magnification is also, and I suppose this is a competing and also fair definition of magnification, it is also, <clears throat> it's going to have a minus sign in here. I'm sorry to bother you. It's negative distance of the image divided by distance of the object. These are both consistent and both awesome, and they tell you how where you put an object near a mirror is, um, <clears throat> well, it's going to affect where the image forms 
and uh, by a lens, of course, as well. <sighs> what else? I mean, it, it's also going to tell you how much bigger the image appears to be, or smaller, and whether it's inverted or not. So we'll do some sign conventions, and then we will drop lenses, uh, well, simple lenses entirely. Goodbye.